In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at several different ways to invoke a function. So I'm going to define a very simple function here called uh, myFunc. And we're going to give it one parameter. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to say console.log myFunc was called. So we can see that the function itself was called. We're going to say console.log, and we're going to actually say the value of the this variable. So we'll just say uh, this, and then we'll just output the value of this like this. And then we'll do console.log, and we'll do the value of param1. Okay. Do plus param1. Now, you'll notice here that I have this use strict. And use strict here on line 13 is basically something that was added to ECMAScript 5 to uh, take care of some issues in JavaScript that were a little quirky and weren't really a, a best practice. Um, for this part of the demo, I'm actually going to turn this off so that you can see the output of, of the this object under certain conditions. And then later on, we'll turn it back on and I'll show you what the difference is. So I've got this basic little function here. And so I'm going to go ahead and just call it. We'll invoke it and we're just going to pass in a value of high so we can see the output here. So we're going to save that. We're going to go to our web browser. We're going to reload the page and we can see that my funk was called the this object refers to the global window object and param1 is high. So let's take a look at what's happening here. So we called our function like we would call any function in an ordinary fashion. And the value of this refers to the global window object. Now, this is something that was built into JavaScript so that any functions that were invoked not as part of another object but just invoked as just a simple function defined in the global scope its value of this would be the global window object now that makes a little bit of logical sense because it's you know it's a function that's defined on the global scope and it's not being executed within the context of another object so the value of this is just the global object okay but depending upon how we call this function the value of this could be something else. So now what I want to do is I want to call this function a little bit differently. Now instead of simply invoking the function, I want to call the function as an actual object constructor. So now I'm going to say var obj equal to new my func passing in this parameter called high. So now I want to want you to show, I want to show you what this actual this variable looks like when I execute it like this. Now you're going to see that this object is no longer the window object. This actually refers to the new object that's actually being created when I call the function with the new operator. Okay? So the value of this now means something else. So the next thing I'd like to show you is now I'd like to execute this function, not with my func and just a simple execution, but I want to use the call method that is a method on all function objects. If you remember about JavaScript, all functions are actually function objects. And now what I want to do is I want to create a new object parameter here. And we'll just give it a simple little property. Um, we'll just say uh, my prop, and we'll give it a value of, uh, of 1. And so now this first parameter that I'm passing in via the call function is this object. And now we're passing in this high as well. And I'm going to say console.log, console.dir. And we're going to look at the details of this. Come back here and reload this. We're going to expand this out. Hey, take a look. The value of this is actually the first object parameter that we passed into that call function. See the myprop1? Well, if we come here, this is myprop1. So now the value of this is whatever object we've passed into it with this.
We can also do the same thing with the apply function. Now with the apply function, what's different is that instead of passing in a comma separated list of, um, of parameters, we actually pass in an array which has our parameters in it. So now if I call it with the apply function and I reload this page, we're going to see that this object is this my prop one that I've passed in. So first we actually just called the function like this. And when we did that, the value of the global object was window. Or the value of this equaled to the global object. When I said new my func, like that, this was equal to the new object being created. And then here, when I said this was equal to the object passed as the first argument. Okay. So, what's going on here? In other languages like Java or C++ or C Sharp, the value of this is lexically scoped. Basically, what, wherever this exists in the source code, it always refers to that object or that class that it's defined in. Okay, But in JavaScript, the value of this is not lexically scoped the value of this is determined by the context in which it is in which the function is called so in this case when the function is called the value of this is the global object when we call it with the new operator the value of this is the new object being created and then when we use call or apply the value of this is the object that we pass in as that first argument to call or apply so when you're working with the this object in JavaScript, you have to be very careful because you don't necessarily know ahead of time what the value of it is going to be. Now finally, let's return to this use strict at the top. When I have use strict turned on and I simply call my func in an ordinary type of function type of way, let's take a look at what the value of this is going to be. So if I come back here to my web browser and I reload my page, we'll see that the value of this is now undefined. One of the changes that were made, that was made with the use strict um, option here, is that this in functions that are just simply called as a function no longer refers to the global object, but instead actually simply refers to undefined because the function is not being called within the context of you know being like a, a function on an object itself. So the value of this is undefined. So when you're writing your JavaScript code, if you want to try to determine whether or not a function is being called within the context of an object or simply just being called as a simple function, you can do that by checking the this object. So if you have use strict turned on and that this object is undefined, then you know you're just doing a simple function call. It's not part of an object.